Have you ever seen that film Groundhog Day? Or do you ever get deja vu? You know, things feeling like they've happened before. Like this. Mm. Now then! Now then, wait over there whilst I have a look at this car. Will do. Go on. Keep going. Keep going. So, moonstone green ovals everywhere, including there, which you can accidentally press and trigger the hazard lights off whilst driving. Beautiful lines, wonderful door shut sounds, and of course, Richard Woolley. This is another Rover 75, a 75 Turbo, like I've had before, but why? Why am I revisiting another Rover 75? Well, you know why, don't you? Because Allegro Man is here. In fact, he's... Allegro Man! Hello? Allegro Man! There he is! Oh, there we go. Come here, boy. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. You... What did you send me off for? Yes, the repetitive video of, a Rover, of another Rover 75 Turbo. But this one has come back to me. Yeah, this car has a real significance to me and going self-employed because it was the first car that I sold in 2021. I found this car with two other cars. I bought the three to start out. And this was the first one of those three that I sold on in 2021. 71,000 miles it had on it when I sold it. It's now got 89,000 on it. And it's back with me having done the NC500 run and it's been to the Isle of Skye. I got the chance to have it back a month ago. And I've had it a month. And at the time I've been getting the leg row ready for one of the followers. I just haven't had the time to actually think right I need to actually come and do a video and advertise it all I've had to do with it from from a point of view of doing things I've put four tires on it and a couple of bushes at the front the previous owner that's taken it round the Isle of Sky before he went he had the cam belt done and it had a full service at a specialist in Leamington so literally tires and two bushes just not to do but I've put 500 miles on it while it's been back with me it's just got a really big level of reliability and it's just such a decent one how nice it is on the sills both sides oh yes yes that is smart actually spec wise it's a club se 1.8 turbo with a t missing Everyone who looks at it thinks it's a 1.8, but it will leave you standing. <laughs> Thank you, Allegro man. Now this car is of course Moonstone Green, and Moonstone Green, like most of the MG Rover colours, I find myself looking at and thinking, that's my favourite one. And especially in direct sunlight, it just has this wonderful popping effect. The only thing is it does show up any imperfections, and this car does have a couple, but, I mean, not that many. It's not perfect, but it's a jolly good start, actually. And there we have the engine, which is the 1.8 turbocharged K-series. It looks quite honest. It's had a recent cam belt change to it. It's been serviced, it's been looked after, and I wonder if it's quite nippy. Here, of course, you've seen all of this kind of thing before. But at least this one's all together. There's no bits hanging off anywhere, which is quite unusual for a 75. Of course, we have the uh, non-leather seats, which are more comfortable in the winter and the summer. Dashboard made of real plastic and the original cassette player as well. As always, Allegro Man's cars always seem to have really nice headlinings. If they're, if they're not already nice, he gets them sorted out. What else can I say, really? It's a very, very tidy car and the right colour. Now, let's go and find the chap and take it out for a drive. You want to drive my car? Well, yeah. 
Why should I let an overgrown buffoon like you drive my car? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> How surreal. Has that ever happened before? An Audi driver letting someone out? Yeah. Probably if it was a, a doctor still driving an Audi, yes. Do you reckon doctors still drive Audis? Don't know. I would have thought, no. No, I think they stopped. I can't imagine a doctor being impressed by all those LED and glitzy things everywhere. No. Anyway, we're not talking about Audi. Back, we're back talking to about the job. This... Yeah, you, you sound like you're sweeping me under the carpet there. <laughs> Get back to your job, boy! Come on! <laughs> That's what you did, isn't it? No. Yeah. All right, so here I am. I'm driving this rather delightful Rover 75. 1.8 turbo, that's the one with the K-series, and 150, is it 150 brake horsepower? 47 or 48. Well, it's near enough 150, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. And uh, of, of course, it um, it drives fabulously. I say of course, because actually, it's not of course. In fact, you know, a lot of the times, these do get a bit neglected, and they clonk, and they rattle, and they, they just sound like they, they just want to give up and go and make home in a scrapyard somewhere but no this one is all sorted and you did mention that all of those bits have been done didn't you allegro darling i certainly did mention all of that and i've got some service history to show you when we get back to the yard have you all of this stuff's receipted oh but make sure you do show me yeah. and i will i'll probably put it in the video well if you don't there's going to be a murder if oh. paul roverman disappears you've heard it now it was me right hang on that's not normally how you how you plan these things. <laughs> You're supposed to cover your tracks, not, not start off with a threat. <laughs> Anything could happen, couldn't it? It could, couldn't it? <laughs> the same man <laughs> behind us, the same Audi's let us out again. Oh, right. <laughs> Maybe the Audi driver used to have a Rover 75. Yeah, that's why he likes to let us out yeah. twice. Oh, he recognises you. But mm. oh, look, there's Legro, man. Mm, could do. Now then. Now then, what we're going to do is uh, just take it up the dual carriageway and uh, do, uh, just to see whether it's nice to drive with a bit more. Go! <laughs> what are you going to do? Fling me round around about like I'm on the waltzer? No. Alright. I'm not going to do that. The 75 Turbo, it's, it's not like the MG4X power that I drove the other day where it would just absolutely slingshot you up the road because it doesn't have that same amount of power. But it's still quite respectable. Oh yeah. And it still clings on to the bends quite well, doesn't it mate? Yes it does, and I'm just clinging on, don't worry. Now don't like road man. Have I got your permission just to try the uh, put the foot down thing? Yes of course. Okay. Around the roundabout at, um, actually not really giving it any grief and Oh dear, look about, how about that? What happens there? You get behind a line of car. I think you could, you could take it. I, I'm not respond? going to, I just feel a bit rude to be uh, honest. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, I mean, I would do here though. That's nice actually. That's got the right level of pull yeah. that you need. It does feel really sorted. Mm. Gear change is nice. Steering's nice. Yeah, do you know what? This is one of those cars that makes me want a 75 again. No, I don't need a 75. That's good. Mm -hmm. I like it. I'm impressed. Third gear pulling along really well as well. So it doesn't have that kind of um, old style, aggressive turbo, kick you in the head kind of thing. It just pulls really nicely through the rev range. Mm -hmm. Would you like to do a drive-by shot? Yes. Would you like to do it here or somewhere else? Here. Here? Right now. Right now? Yeah, I need to eject you out and I just go right there. Yeah, surely you feel safer with me driving. <laughs> <laughs> it kicks me out for saying that. Yours will be at home now. Yeah. 
If you didn't have another car as a regular car, would you keep this one? Oh, I'd run this, no problem. Because you have at least got some proper connection with this as well, haven't you? So yeah. I mean, as well, though, while it's come back to me, I have literally ran it as my sole car because well, you must Volvo's have done been having some maintenance miles. done. Yeah. I've been on with the job for someone on a leg row and it just seemed the easiest thing to, to just jump in and use. And I've covered 500 miles in it while it's been back to me. Still here then? Yes. What have you so got all there? of these things that I've said have been done on it, come up. It's all documented in here. The cam belt receipt and the service receipt is all in there. And there's a few MOTs. Yeah, all of that stuff is documented. Yeah, and it's, it's come back to me with a couple of genuine mark there and a little mark there. Battle scars from doing the NC500, but it's basically come back in the really straight condition that I'd always remembered this car to be. I yeah. like it. Yeah, I'd kind of given up on Rover 75s, but I kind of, I really like this one. I might even swap it for my Audi, come to think of it. What do you reckon? Um, not your Audi, but I'd consider Mrs. Doyle. Should I just get away from you so you can't? Kill me. <laughs> you leave Mrs. Doyle in a special big box alone. No swap. But you could buy this car from Allegro Man if you wanted to do for the sum of fifteen nine five. That's one thousand five hundred and ninety-five pounds. Our nearest offer, of course. Well, you're putting the price down already. No. <laughs> Thanks. Bye.